welcome to the QAC TV Hollow Week Spooktacular. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell that we're a little dressed up today. Yeah. We're, we're celebrating <laughs> Hollow Week. It's something we just invented today. <laughs> made up. It's made, well, yeah, <laughs> sort of. I mean, it's always existed. We're just, True. we're celebrating it. Uh -huh. So we're doing Hollow Week because we want to help prepare everyone out there for all the events coming up this week. And not only do we want to help you prepare, we want to get you into the spirit. So three of us dressed up, and Renee came as normal. Oh! <laughs> Bruce forgot to tell Jacob pick out. <laughs> Wear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Never leave home without it. <laughs> so we actually, we, we all didn't know what we were coming as. We were supposed to be a group. We messed up. Yeah. <laughs> so Hannah? I'm a strawberry. I love strawberries. <laughs> that was very easy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I am uh, obviously the cookie monster <laughs> because, you know, that's what you all forced me to do. <laughs> I love Eat chocolate chip cookies. cookies. Yeah. Yours. Cookie. <laughs> C is for cookie. Cookie good for me. <laughs> Renee? I'm a soul trained dancer, sugar. <laughs> that's why I love cookies. <laughs> What and, about you, Amanda? And I am a fork in the road. <laughs> Which is perfect. That's amazing. Yes. But people had a hard time guessing that today, Yes, didn't they? it was yeah. very challenging. So. It's, it's hard, man. It's hard. People... And it changes, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. I'll be something different next week. You know, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is way too hot <laughs> in this cookie monster outfit. So, guys, we have so much to talk about today. We're going to run through tons of events. We have some visits from some special guests. We have a game that we're going to play that we want you guys to kind of play along with. I know we're not live right now. We were supposed to go live, but Facebook is messing up because uh. that's what Facebook does. So, but still try to play along with us. We're going to play games, talk about some great Halloween memories that we all share. But before we get too far into it... <laughs> we have Thor. <laughs> of, of course. course. Happy Halloween, mortals! But the ready. You might see Thor walking down the street. You realize that it is not I. There's a man who bought it on Amazon for $129.95. So any schlub could be wearing a Thor costume. Could even be lucky. Thank you, Thor. He's always in the spirit, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's good to see him, you know, nailing a holiday. That, <laughs> Finally. That's actually that, a holiday. Yeah, that most yeah. of us celebrate. Yeah, right. that's true. So, so good for Thor, who, I don't know if you guys know this, bears a very striking resemblance to a friend of mine. Really? Christopher Bartlett. Christopher. You guys, do you guys know Christopher? Yeah, I do. I heard about Christopher. Yeah, uh, some of us even grew up near Christopher. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not so, far. Yeah. <laughs> so Christopher, and he loves Halloween, Christopher does. He threw a big party. <laughs> He always throws a big party every year. He loves Halloween. So Christopher, special shout out to you for your amazing Halloween parties and your resemblance to, to Thor. Thor. <laughs> yeah. I heard you guys might be going on a date soon, huh? You and <laughs> Thor? Aren't you guys going to see a movie? We might be. Might be. Might be. Thor got up his game. Thor got up your game. <laughs> so let's talk about some events, guys. We actually have a scary story time for kids happening at Dominic's Farm. And that's going to be... Thursday the 26th at 10 a.m. and Friday the 27th at 1.30. It's Halloween stories for kids, so kids come dressed up, you'll hear some farm stories, you'll hear some Halloween stories, and you'll get to see some horses and pigs and it's rabbits. It's a pretty cool place. Yeah, you get to pet them. <laughs> That's really cool. That is cool. So lots of cool stories, and that got me thinking. Do you guys have any cool stories? Halloween, mm. scary, anything that's ever happened to you? Mandy? Yeah, Halloween's not one of my favorite things, but so long story short, but I was like peppered from head to toe when I was like eight and like these hives and they couldn't figure out what it was. And then they went away and Halloween I was trick or treating and I was grabbed by this thing. I don't even know what it was. And they came back. So come to find out they were like hives from nerves. Yeah. <laughs> that pretty much is. <laughs> yeah. So they're not all fun Halloween stories no. that we can tell them today. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad to see you don't bust out high. Yeah, right. Like, ah! <laughs> no. So now we know when to cut you off in the middle of the right. show. Right, yeah. cut it. Like, stay girl. <laughs> They're coming up. Right. <laughs> Anna, any cool stories? I threw a Halloween party one year, and it was me and a bunch of my friends. And my friend turned around and went, "Who else is here?" 
And I was like, no one. And they were like, well, I just saw someone. So we all like run outside. We waited in the driveway for my parents to get home for probably a good half an hour and it was freezing. <laughs> we were so scared. You got so how old were you? We were probably like 15. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, were, 15. we were too old to be doing that. It was, so this was last year? <laughs> First, I was 19, thank you. Oh, close, close. Yeah. <laughs> Renee, you have to have Well, a good story. I grew up around a family that owned a funeral home. And we used to give Halloween parties at the funeral home. This was before all the licensing oh, changed my. and all of the, you know, you can sue everybody. And we <laughs> used to have a great time. But the worst thing that I had happened, I had a cousin that asked me to go down and look at this particular person and make sure they were okay before they put him on the floor. But I didn't know he was behind it. And he slowly closed the lid on the casket. And I ran because I never did see who did it. So that was... That was pretty scary. You ain't gonna catch me in no funeral. <laughs> no. You lived it. There ain't no way. It's really safe. It's, you're really good. <laughs> you're clearly not. <laughs> okay, I got one. I don't know if you guys believe in ghosts, but I never did until mm. this day. And this is a true story. I'm not being silly. I used to work at the Oxford Community Center in Talbot County. So I went to work there one day. I, I had to set up for all the shows. I opened up all the shows and I closed down the building for all the shows. So normally I was the first person in. So I went into the Oxford Community Center one day and I'm walking down the hallway and I unlock the door to get in and I'm going down. And I pass through the hallway and I see someone in the next to me. I was like, hey man, how's it going? I kept walking. They never said hey back. So I get up to the front. I was like, and I get to the front door and it was locked. I was like, why are all the doors locked? So I went back to see who was there. Nobody was in the building. Wow. And man, I'm telling you, I saw them. Like, it wasn't like out of the corner of your eye. Like, it was like, hey, man. <laughs> so the Barb Cease, who owns it, came in a little bit later, and I was talking to her. She's like, oh, yeah, you saw our ghost. They're here all the time. Ah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're waiting on a standing yeah. or they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not like they tell you yeah. this before right. you start working. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you're going to be visited by three ghosts. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was legit scary. That was yeah, pretty cool, though. Yeah. That's Halloween. Yeah, it is. All right, so, not scary. Let's talk about another event that's coming up. It's gonna be at the Kent Island Elementary School. It's their Halloween spooktacular. It's Friday the 27th, and it's gonna be from 6.30 to 8.30. So again, it's kid-friendly. All kids come out, dress up. There's gonna be treats, and there's a photo booth, and games, dancing, so much stuff going on. You guys remember going to any Halloween parties when you were little? Kent Island Elementary Schools? Little kid parties? All the time. Yeah, <laughs> with hives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when we were kids, though, and we did go to these stuff, like these things. I know you were a kid, and you went to things. I uh -huh. don't want you to lie. <laughs> Favorite costume you got to dress up as? I'm not going to lie. I was a TV one year. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing ever. You Square were. Square box. I had knobs. I even had antennas on my head, and I had knobs to, like, turn it on. And a picture. There was, like, a picture in the TV. So you were QAC TV. I was the TV. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, we, need, we need a we picture of that. Right. <laughs> we we got to get a picture of that of you so that could be our new logo. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It was like one of my favorite. I just want to be a TV one year. And I the rule it. is, our thing is, you have to make it mm -hmm. or you can't wear it. Oh. So you have to be, it has to be made. Mm -hmm. I ain't creative enough to do anything, which is why I'm a cookie monster. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Angela wanted me to dress up in cardboard and put chocolate chips on it so I was a cookie. Yeah. I was like, girl, I will mess that up. People are going to be like, what in the world are you? Here's a holy cardboard box. <laughs> All right. My favorite was probably one year I was Raggedy Ann. I was waiting for you to be like, one year I was a strawberry. <laughs> I was a strawberry. Yeah. No. Raggedy Ann? Raggedy Ann. Was there a Raggedy Andy with you, or were you just by yourself? I was just Raggedy Ann. Like the red hair and everything, right. like a big red wig and stuff. Oh, yeah. Did like, you do dimples? Yep. The freckles? Yep. Right. We had like painted on. It looked ridiculous. I dig it. <laughs> one, one year, I tried to be a Smurf. Oh my. Right, so I wore, I wore blue tights that you couldn't see at night. I just wore a white tank top. Blue? I painted my whole body blue. I thought she was so, a right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, George. Straight in the booth. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously I do like blue. I wear it all the time. But I was trying to be a Smurf, so I wore, I wore this white hat and I wore the white tank top. Everyone thought I was just a burnt cook. <laughs> 
That it was, was a it was, I was so, it was so unsuccessful, and which is why I don't create my own <laughs> things <laughs> anymore. Right. You are you a burnt cook? I was like, what? <laughs> burnt cook. No, I'm not a burnt cook. <laughs> Smurf man. All right, childhood. M and M cookie. I'm an M and M, <laughs> not a cookie. Just say M and M. I was an M and M. Um, green. Green. Yeah. It was. What was this? Fabric was on sale. Did you have green M&Ms when you were a kid? Fabric was on sale. I didn't know. Did they have green M&Ms when you were a kid? I don't remember because we ate them so fast. We barely looked. But I remember it being green because the fabric was on sale. And my mom said, it's green this year. So you were the inspiration yes. for the female green, green That's M&M. That's right. That's yes. right. We didn't know. Shh, Mars owes you Who money. Knew? <laughs> they owe you money, girl. <laughs> All right, so cool costumes. I'm glad we got to share that. But we have some breaking news. Mm. Did you guys know we got a new host? No. Queen Anne's County Commissioners gave oh us $100,000 to hire a new host to be our weather person. No. That's yeah. big news. So we were beautiful. like, who do, who do we find? Like, we right. with all that money, we got to find someone special. Yeah. So we went to the princess of weather, Goldilocks. Hey, Goldilocks, oh. what's the weather like out there? It's just right. Dynamite, Goldilocks. So cool. She nailed it. She nailed so it. Cute. Yeah, that was really that quick. It. That was worth all the money. <laughs> that was yep. pretty good. I'm pretty sure she needs a raise, though. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> He's a professional. Yeah. You know, no she, doubt. Yeah. I, you know, I've seen her around Queens County. She's Who a resident. Wears? Yeah. Yes. She plays with pets a lot. Yes, she does. Yes, yeah, that's I've, where I've uh-huh. seen her. Yeah, it's really cool. So thanks, Goldilocks. We, we look forward to hearing your... Uh, Perfect around the around the year response to the weather outside. So we have some more events. Mandy, you want to talk about the Jetty? Yes. So the Jetty has its annual adult Halloween party. Um, it's big time down at the Jetty on Kent Island, um, October the twenty seventh at eight thirty. So it's definitely something you don't want to miss. Bring out your best costume. Do better than this. Yeah, <laughs> okay. better than Bruce. Yeah. Um, yes, please. Yes. So that's fun. Jetty, they have music all the time dancing, and they'll have yeah, yeah. dancing mm-hmm. and adult themed. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. So then we also have another event this weekend. It's for kids though, right, Renee? That's right. It's the Halloween bounce party. Woohoo! <laughs> a bounce party. <laughs> it's at the Queenstown Sports Center, and it's Friday the 27th and Saturday the 28th, and it's from 5 to 8 p.m. So bring the kids out so they can bounce. Yeah, bounce and slide yeah. and hop all around. Queenstown yeah, Sports Center is doing so many cool things. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, I wish yeah. I could go do that. Me too. Yeah. You think they'll let us in? We'll try. We can, we'll try. We can yeah. calm yeah. dress. They can't yes. us yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just really big kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie! Yeah, we can bounce over there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so I got a game. Okay. I want to play oh, a game God. with you. And we're going to play this game live with all the viewers. Hopefully, they can still play along. But. We're going to play a Halloween trivia game. Okay. I'm going to test your guys' knowledge. Mm. All right. And I think I left pencils, pens over here, Hannah, if you can grab them the from case. the encyclopedia. So Halloween trivia. We're going to ask 10 questions, and we're going to go through all the questions before I give the answers. So no cheating. Hmm. And the winner of this will be the first ever QAC TV Halloween Spooktacular Grand Trivia Champion. That's a mouthful. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And we're going to get a crown that says the whole thing. <laughs> for George's insupport and it's in the room, we're going to make him pay for it. Too. Yeah, that's right. And look for it Burger King, he'd rather than aluminum foil. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yes. George, work on that. <laughs> no, I want a real crown. That host got good money. True. True. Well, we, she got all of her money. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's why we're getting Burger King yeah. crown. And that's why Hannah's going to be an intern forever. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here and intern forever. Yeah. That's my yeah. life. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm never moving on. No. <laughs> Why would you? You have too much fun here. It's that's true. true. Yeah. All right, guys. Trivia time. We'll go through one at a time. I'll give you a couple of seconds before I get to the next one. Okay. I'll be- Question number one. Halloween is the day before which holiday? Hmm. <laughs> so while they're thinking, Halloween, right? In the comments, even though we're not live, tell us what your favorite costume was growing up or what your, your favorite Halloween story is or anything. Just tell us what your favorite memory is from Halloween. All right, guys. Question number two. The tradition of making jack-o'-lanterns to ward off evil spirits is a thousand years old. 
But which vegetable were they originally made out of? Bonus question, is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? It's like the tomato or the potato. Remember to write your answers in the comments too. We want to hear them. Don't cheat. Write them now while you're watching this. All right, question three. This is an easy one. Who wrote the novel Frankenstein? Hmm, I don't read books. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, I just saw the movie. <laughs> I just saw the movie. Yeah. What if you saw the movie? It's in the title of the movie. Oh, I watch movies. I get popcorn. <laughs> She's busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's picking her hair. <laughs> That's right. I was uh, eating M&Ms. Yeah. Yeah. That's why there's no green ones. All right. So the novel Frankenstein, who was the author, was question three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question four. Which actor played Dr. Frankenfurter in the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Special shout out to the Oxford Community Players, Rocky Horror Picture Show going on right now. I know it's in Talbot County, but it's very, no very idea. cool show going on. Never saw it, but I'll guess. You've never seen Rocky Horror? No. no. I don't know. Have you seen Rocky Horror? Yes, I wanted to, to ask it. Yeah, so guys, let's all go to Oxford and go see Rocky Horror Picture David. Show. Well, I have answer. a feeling they're all going to get that wrong. <laughs> Next. Okay, here, I'll give you a hint. Can I phone a friend? He, I'll give you a hint. He also played the original Pennywise from the movie It. <laughs> oh, my Is that a scary clown? Yes, it's a scary clown. It's the scariest clown that's ever lived. God, you are killing me right now. Question five. Jeez. According to superstition, a person born on Halloween has what procur peculiar ability? You're born uh, on I Halloween. Gotta go to, that's a good one. I know somebody born on Halloween. Do you? Who are they? I can't tell you. It's got to do with my answer. We'll find it. The suspense. <laughs> the suspense is killing us. <laughs> Who is it? I hope they're watching. Do they watch us? This person? He better. He better. <laughs> well, there's a hint. <laughs> we just narrowed down 50% of yes. the population. Okay. Mandy, you better get this one. This is question six. Oh, Every Halloween, Charlie Brown helps his friend Linus wait for what character to appear? Yes! Out of all ten questions, and the three of them, there's going to be <laughs> one right answer. That's the truth. <laughs> Charlie Brown. You guys like Charlie Brown? I watched it the other night. <laughs> I watch it every day, <laughs> leading up to Halloween, apparently. Okay. Number seven. What do people bob for on Halloween? Ooh, good one. Yeah. I like these questions better. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting, well, they're going to ramp back up here in a second. Oh, no. no. All right. <laughs> The answer is not strawberries, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Good guess, though. <laughs> this, is, this is an awesome one. Because I, when I saw this one pop up, I was like, this is cool. Number eight. Pumpkins can be four colors. Orange, white, green, and what's the fourth color a pumpkin can be? Y'all having fun watching this? <laughs> I hope you're doing your answers at home. Okay. Number nine. The movie Halloween, which apparently no, you Again. watch movies. <laughs> what? This, movie. this was a, thra a thrasher. This was a slasher film where lots of people died. How many people died in the film Halloween? Mm, okay. Good guess. It's not Rambo numbers. It's not 108... All right, you guys got your numbers? Number yeah, 10, yeah. final question, playing at home. How many Oscars were, was the movie Psycho nominated for? How many Oscars was the movie Psycho nominated for? Okay, I'm ready. You good? All right, remember, whoever has the most right answers <laughs> gets to be the- It might uh, be a tie. <laughs> the, the, the QAC TV Hollow Week Spooktacular <laughs> Grand Trivia Champion. Yes. With a crown. Right. <laughs> I don't even know if I just said the same title. <laughs> just... Sounded good. Okay. Sounded good. So, number one, Halloween is the day before which holiday? The answer, just raise your hand if you got it right, All Saints Day. Wrong. Nope. <laughs> Put a little extra. Yep. 
<laughs> and you know, okay, Halloween's called like All Hallows Eve, oh. right? Have you ever heard that? Yes. So it's the, you know, the day before Hallows That day, was my guess, the day Hallows before Halloween. Day. Halloween. <laughs> Mine was Cookie Dog Day. <laughs> said, Halloween, the day before Halloween. That's right. It never ends. Right? That'd be great. Halloween 365. <laughs> That's what, That's what Christopher Bartlett that. would like. <laughs> Y'all don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so no, no right answers. Number two, the tradition of making jack lanterns to ward off evil spirits for thousands of years. <clears throat> but what vegetable were they originally made from? Turnips. I didn't get that either. Nope. What'd you all put? Squash. Eggplant. That's what I put. Eggplant. Squash. They went out there with that eggplant just worried. <laughs> <laughs> No, man, they used to take the big turnips and they carve them out and they wore them as masks. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah, it's really cool. That's where it all came from. Wearing We're not masks good on at Halloween. this game. It's all right. I, it's, it's okay. He figured that. Yeah, we want the people at home. We're just we're getting the wrong answers on purpose. All right, number three, who wrote Frankenstein? Did Somebody rich? Somebody, uh, not even true. <laughs> Mary Shelley. You never she heard was of? in high school when she wrote it, right? I don't know, but I mean, it was so long ago. It was before it's anyone awesome. was getting paid to write. I don't know. Mary but Shelley's Frankenstein? You never heard that? No. Oh my you said it was in the title, so I put Frankenstein. <laughs> I put Bruce Frank. Who wrote, the Fra <laughs> Who wrote the novel Frankenstein? Yes. Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who was Frankenstein? Yeah, I'm not sure. You don't know who Frankenstein no, was? No, my answer was not sure. No, but who was Frankenstein? The scary guy. No. With a bolt in his neck. No. It's the doctor. That created the monster. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Did you know, you know yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the, the monster is just called the monster. Yeah. I put Ted. <laughs> yeah. Ted point for Ted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ted, did you write Frankenstein? No. <laughs> Sorry. I tried. If you would have said yes, I still would have gave you the point because I can't no prove good, it wrong. No good. All right, which actor played Dr. Frankenfurter? You guys have never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show, but have you seen it? Did anyone get this? It's Tim Curry. Mm -mm. Man, alive. People are going. Why are we asking the questions you're playing? I know, right? I would have got at least one of these. All right, Two. number five, the superstition for people born on Halloween. What ability? Oh, they get a cool sister like me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> What's your brother's name? Robbie. <laughs> Hi, He's Robbie. He's the only person that has a birthday on Halloween that I know. But I'm like, we well, get a cool sister like me, you have a birthday on Halloween. Okay, fair enough. Sure. I mean, that is an ability. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't have a cool sister. Hmm. Whatever. Mine was Sea Spirits. Yeah, girl, you nailed it. <laughs> oh, no, I did it. I did it. I'm so shocked. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I can't believe it. Perfect. All right, so we have one point for Renee. That's it. What? We're not doing good. All right, number six. Every Halloween, Charlie Brown helps his friend Linus wait for who? The Great Pumpkin. Great Pumpkin. What'd you say? Great pumpkin. You are got it? <laughs> yeah. so proud of I feel like Renee cheated. <laughs> no, no. She said it real late. <laughs> Everyone says uh, great pumpkin. She's like, great pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number seven. What do people bob for on Halloween? Apples. Apples. All right, we're rolling now. Ooh. Renee's still winning. Three, two to two. <laughs> Renee's right. on fire. <laughs> number eight. Pumpkins can be orange, white, green, and? Red. I guess purple. Oh, brown. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I have picked this question? <laughs> blue! Blue! Pumpkins can be blue! I've never seen a blue pumpkin! You made it up. I really don't. <laughs> I may have made this up. Blue <laughs> monster! But I have seen a blue pumpkin. Okay, number nine. What's the body count for the film Halloween? More than 10 people. 108. <laughs> Girl, I said it wasn't 108. So I picked it. <laughs> None. None. <laughs> that would have been the worst slasher film in history. Everybody got away. <laughs> Everyone lived. The correct answer was five. Oh. And I would have given you a bonus point if you would have said five and a dog. Oh, that's, that's horrible. Sad. No one I haven't seen the movie. Yes, yeah, that's terrible. Dead like dogs. You knew before you started watching it. <laughs> you don't watch that movie. It's got the dog in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. If you guys don't get this right. Oh, Grand Poobah <laughs> champion over here. How many Oscars was the movie Psycho nominated for? Three. Four. None. Four? <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. We have a tie. I wasn't prepared for that. So we need a question. So uh, the winner goes to... Amanda. 
<laughs> She's an intern. She ain't getting paid. All right, the winner's Hannah. Yeah. Like for being a strawberry, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Write down in the comments if you think that was fair. Live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. That was trivia. Hopefully you guys played along. Hope you had fun with that. We're entertained. We're, we're entertained. That's all that matters to me. But we have a couple more events that we have to power through. So Hannah, what we got coming up also? All right. So on the 28th, we have flashlight. <laughs> what is it? Flashlight. Wow. Trick or treat. Yeah, that's at it. At Dominic's Farm. Dominic's Farm. Very busy for Halloween they this year. They are. They're they doing are. a lot. Cool. Yeah, they're cool. That is from 6 to 8 p.m. You can wear your costumes. There'll be a bonfire. It'll be tons of fun. Bring the kids out. They'll love it. The best costume wins a free farm party. There we go. A farm party. Yeah, they have like farm parties there. You can have your birthday party there and ride ponies and pet bunnies. And That's awesome. Hey, Dominic's Farm, call us. We're coming out. Yeah, I'm telling you. Pony rides. Yeah, pony rides. That'd be nice. Shoo, boy. Hope they're ready for this crew. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> watch this crew, but we don't want them coming. <laughs> These guys are idiots. Okay. What else we got going on? All right. Ooh. The next thing we have is Cass's Tots fundraiser at O'Shucks. That'll be a lot of fun. There's going to be music, a DJ, uh, tons of food, drinks. It'll be a lot of fun. There, you can win money for prizes and stuff. It'll be cool. Yeah, and that's adult themed. Adult, well, yeah. Definitely. So yeah. So uh, also in the same vein as a party, you can go to El Jefe's, who's having the Halloween blacklight bash, oh. which is really cool. They'll actually have someone there from eight to ten who's painting on your body for blacklight, uh, yeah. so that you show up. Okay. So that's really cool. So that's from 8 to 10, but the actual party does go 8 to close. It's not just blacklight. Wear your costumes. Dress up, have fun. They'll have the Patron girls there to Cash do shots. Cash prizes for costumes. Cash prizes for oh. costumes. Really cool. Lots of fun going on there at El Jefe's. <laughs> so guys, that's adult themed. Yeah. But well, we want to talk about something that's kid themed for one second. That's true. And that's the most important thing about Halloween. Candy. You better believe it. <laughs> so what was your favorite candy growing up? Well, like when you went to the door and you said trick or treat, did you say trick or treat or were you? Yeah, I did, but I grew up in small town, so we didn't really get candy. We got homemade cookies. What? <laughs> 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 That's cool. We yeah. had like the favorites. There were the the regular town kids, uh -huh. and we got homemade chocolate chip cookies. That's cool. You can't from different spots. And sad that you can't even trust that stuff anymore. Yeah, no. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. If you're if you're at home, don't make the, the baked goods. We just throw them out. I don't let my kids have them. Mm -hmm. It sucks that we can't trust it, but just candy. Yeah, just hand out candy. No money either. Candy. Favorite candy. <laughs> Favorite candy. Yeah, when you said, did you say what? trick or treat? I did. We okay. said trick or treat, and I like the candy necklace. Yeah. Why you're, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> you I didn't gnaw on coming. them while you were yeah. trick or treating. Yeah. Dig it. My favorite was definitely M&M's. M&M's? Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Did you say trick or treat? I did. Cool. <laughs> All right. You better. I, I, I actually, I was giving you guys a hard time. I never said trick or treat. I was that, I was that what? little what? annoying kid. Like like kid with the yeah, bag. Yeah. Like, oh, look at this candy. burnt smirk. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm not saying it now. <laughs> so yeah, I would hold it back. But man, I loved getting Kit Kats. Oh, I was yeah, a Kit Kat fiend. Mm -hmm. Okay, really quick. When there was a bowl out with the candy, did you just take one or did you take them all? Were you good people? Did you just take one? Do you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes. When people just leave out the bowl? Unless it was my favorite in there. Then you took more than one? Made like two. Oh. One for now, one for later. In my day. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> trick or treat for now or <laughs> trick or treat for later? Right. Pull, yeah, pull that in, Dora. See what happens. <laughs> True. All right, guys. Last event, really cool one, trunk or treat. That yeah, that's good. big this year. Yeah. That's a yeah. big thing. Yeah, and we have a couple of them going on, right, Mandy? Yeah, there's um, one in Churchill, one in Sellersville, mm -hmm. um, and then there's one at Centerville Methodist Church. It's new this year, but it's very safe. I mean, you think about it. Mm -hmm. All these kids are trick-or-treating, so they're having it on, on Halloween, Tuesday the 31st, from 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. um, they have decorated cars, and you, like, trick-or-treat right out of the trunks. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a safe, kid-friendly, especially for younger kids that aren't used to the streets and mm -hmm. things like that. It's in one confined area, so yeah. it's kind of nice. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. Methodist Church in Chester is doing it as well. I think a few churches are doing <coughs> it. It's definitely yeah, new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can go to one, tri trick or treat around the parking lot, then get into your safe car and drive to the next one. Mm -hmm. Support all the trunk or treats. It's really cool. Cars are dressed up. People dress up. A lot of yeah. fun. 
So there's so many events going on. Maybe we missed some. Drop them in the comments if we did miss any so everyone can see them and have so much fun this Halloween week. But before we leave, I want to do two things. One, I want a special preview for next week because next week we are going live on Halloween again. But we want to do our Halloween push. And we actually have a really cool interview next week with Turkey Lurkey. <laughs> Do you guys know who Turkey Lurkey is? No, who's Turkey Lurkey? Oh my goodness, you guys are about to find out because I'm going to make Hannah interview him one on one. Oh, so, Hannah. if you know who Turkey Lurkey is, please prepare Hannah for what she's please. going to get into next week. Please tell me. And if you comments. don't know who Turkey Lurkey is, oh man, you do not want to miss next week's Turkey Lurkey episode. Okay, uh, before we leave today, we actually have a surprise. Renee is leaving us. Yes, I am. Now, that doesn't mean Renee's gone forever. That's true. Because Renee can come back and film with us whenever she wants. That's right. But I Renee, love that. I actually made something for you. Oh. I made a video because my very first day, I got to go out and shoot with you. <laughs> yes. So, your very first shoot was with me. So, it's an honor for me that your last shoot is with me again. Thanks, Drew. So I made a video highlighting all the fun uh -oh. that you and I have got to have together. So, Ted, if you could roll that video. Oh, boy. Uh, this is for you. So, bros. I have to go out. We're here with the Brewster. Yes. Oh, Renee, you know they got fish in here? Oh, my God. Come out of there, bros. So we're going to give them a whole lot of these. A pit feed. How'd you catch a fish with no line? Well, I just snatched them out. Renee? Hi, Bruce. Beef, barbecue, beef. Are you talking about some pit beef? I love beef. Yeah, man. She's perfect. How did you get a job here? Good luck with that. Bye. Renee? Don't worry, be happy. My tribute to you. I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> we had so much fun. Me too. Me too. We're going to have fun still. Oh, we're still going to have fun. Yeah. But the end of an era. Yeah, it is. But we'll, still, we'll continue to have fun with you. Uh, you know you're always welcome back. We'll always have a good time. Thanks. But we can't let you leave without getting you something also. Oh, so we yeah. actually... Oh, and that's sweet. Ray, I got a fork. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Oh. Oh. Right, sit down, sit down. Come on. This was so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. So we I all went out, and George, it. Ted, Mike, and I, and oh. we, we got you your cake because we're going to miss you so much. I know Hannah and Manny are going to yeah, miss you and that's doing that's live with you. Did you decorate it, too? Uh, define decorate. Okay. <laughs> did we tell someone what to write? Okay, yeah. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, very nice ladies at Acme did that for oh, us. Oh, that's so. great. I love them. And I know Ted took a picture of the cake so we can show that so people can see what it looks like. Okay. It says, have a good day, Renee, which was your show that we yeah. got to host with you. So we're going to actually end our show saying goodbye to you. We're going to miss oh. you and we're going to have fun when you come back and visit. But then we're going to enjoy some cake. All so right. leave your comments about how, how the show went. Tell us about all the events again. You know, tell us what you like about Halloween, favorite movie, favorite candy. And while y'all are doing that, we're going to sign out and we're going to have some cake. Yes. So everyone say bye. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time, sailors. <laughs>